Are avoidance undateable? Well, that really depends on what it is that you're looking for in a relationship, and it also depends on how severely avoidant this person is. A person that's mildly avoidant, well, they'll likely avoid arguments, avoid conflict, probably need a little bit of space when there's a disagreement. But over time, this person can open up and make an emotional connection and commitment. A severe avoidant, however, keep in mind this is a person that has a paralyzing fear of commitment, a fear of abandonment, a fear of rejection, a fear of engulfment. A person that has a low self-esteem and a lack of self-worth that feels unlovable. This is a person that keeps all of their partners at an emotional arm's length. If you desire emotional intimacy, if you want to build a strong, loving bond with somebody, a commitment, a lifelong partnership, a severe avoidant is going to be a very difficult partner to do that with. Every time you push for emotional intimacy, they will pull away. They can even disappear or run from the relationship altogether if things get too close. And severe avoidance can often do things to self-sabotage the relationship. They will do this as a way to keep the partner at an emotional arm's length. When they self-sabotage the relationship, what they're really doing is sabotaging emotional intimacy. And these sabotage, that can be things along the lines of cheating, gaslighting, stonewalling, making demeaning comments, disappearing, ghosting, or discarding the partner altogether. And that's because this person fears that if you get into their heart, if you get behind that castle wall, you are ultimately going to figure out that they are unlovable, that you're too good for them, and you're going to reject and abandon them. So they keep you out, and that's a defense mechanism. It's a way of keeping themselves safe. It's a maladaptive one, but it's how they keep themselves safe. This is a person that learned during childhood that anybody that you rely on for your emotional needs is ultimately going to let you down, disappoint you, reject you, and abandon you. They learn to associate emotional intimacy with abandonment, and they were emotionally neglected as children. This is why they feel unlovable, because they never received love as a child. Now, severe avoidance, they can do the work and heal, and this usually involves therapy. But with a lot of work, dedication, and commitment, they can learn to become secure partners, and they can end up learning to be healthy, good partners that contribute to a relationship and can stay in commitment. But the ones that don't do the work, if they continue to avoid their problems, because that's what avoidance have learned to do, instead of face problems, they run from them, suppress their emotions, and run from the problem. If they continue to do that, then this is a person that you're never going to be able to develop a deep loving bond with. And every attempt that you, that you make to grow the relationship is going to be met with stonewalling, pulling away, possibly even other methods of self-sabotage. And it can be a very heartbreaking experience, especially if you're a person that wants emotional intimacy, especially if you're a person that longs for a deep romantic connection. Now, Severe avoidance, well, they can have great personalities. They can be very lively in social settings. They can be confident at work. But the problem is when it comes to romantic relationships, they have an extremely low self-esteem. They feel like they're not good enough for a healthy partner. And they feel less than. And these create big problems in romantic relationships, especially when it comes to commitment. So understand that if this is a severe avoidant, and you want emotional intimacy, it is a rocky road ahead.